What is up, guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage. And the Active Duty Service members, Demon 170, is finally coming up for auction. And we know where the money and the charity is going to. Roll the intro. <laughs> One green monster to another, huh? Whew. Today's video, guys, is being brought to you by Morgan and Morgan, attorneys at law. If you're looking for a personal injury attorney, there is no firm larger than Morgan and Morgan. With uh, over 20 million calls handled in 2023, 2024 is going to be even larger. As the firm continues to grow and is the largest personal injury law firm on earth. You can get started today by going to forthepeople.com forward slash TK's garage forthepeople.com forward slash TK's garage. And I appreciate them for allowing me to do what I do. <clears throat> All right, guys. So... This is just an update video, kind of putting a bow on the situation that happened almost a month ago uh, with the Demon 170 that was sold out from under an active duty deployed service member. Um, in the same areas where we're seeing active duty service members being killed right now by drone attacks. My... Uh, my thoughts definitely go out to the families of those that have been lost there. And this kind of really makes this a, a much different type of video, right? So, Mac Hike eventually got around to doing the right thing. And they are donating all of the proceeds to a charity of this active duty service member's choice. Now, the auction is going to take place in April, uh, during the first week of April. I believe April 2nd to the 4th. We'll probably drop something here in the video so you guys can see it. <clears throat> the funds from the Demon 170 will be split three separate ways. Going to the Special Forces Association Chapter 79 in Pearl, Mississippi. The 5th Squad in Pearl, Mississippi. And Jared Allen's Homes for Wounded Warriors in Scottsdale, Arizona. All uh, awesome charities, by the way. Um, so it's an even three-way split for whatever the Demon 170 sells for. At Mecham Auctions in Houston, Texas. Again, that very first week of April 2024. <clears throat> Now, if you haven't seen this car before, I'm going to show you guys a, a few pictures of it here as we talk about uh, what's going on with the car and, and what's coming up with it. Now, you guys know I, I, I have a special relationship. I like working with uh, with Barrett Jackson, um, but I have gone ahead and registered to bid with Meekum. And I know you're probably wondering <clears throat> why that is. Well... A while back, we had did a, a questionnaire, and I know some of you guys have been on my Instagram Lives, and you guys have recently seen uh, my own Demon 170. And I did a thing a while back about if we should raffle off a car, uh, raffle off a Demon 170, right? Like, do something with myself, maybe OC Motivator, Butter the Great, Butter the Insider, and... Um, and or Lucky Lopez or other people in, the, in that community that <clears throat> really made a difference for this active duty service member, you know, by selling merch or whatever, doing it the right way, not just selling raffle tickets. Um, and the response to it was actually pretty solid. So I'm thinking 
we'll see what this car is going to go for at auction. I've had people say, TK, you should buy it. You should bid on it. And they just give it to the active duty service member. <clears throat> now, I know that he's going to be coming home shortly and taking delivery of his car at Jay Leno's garage. Um, Butter the Insider, go check out his channel. He's going to have more on that here soon. Um, so you definitely don't want to be missing that. Make sure you go subscribe to Butter the Insider's channel. And again, I have to say, I never would have got involved in the situation at all had it not been for Butter the Insider. So major salute to him. Um, OC Motivator for keeping his foot on people's necks as well. And Lucky Lopez for throwing his weight uh, with a channel his size into this as well to get it the attention that it needed from the drive and other uh, written publications. And again, you know, thank you to those places as well, Car Scoops and the drive for shining a light on this and, and kind of getting this to be more of a mainstream story, mainstream story and not a third bunch of third rate YouTubers, you know, doing whatever. So we're excited about that. I just got the text messages in from the folks over at uh, at Mac Hike, you know, letting me know what the situation was. And like I said, as you can see, the car is up at Meekum uh, right now. And what I'll do is I'll probably I'll probably add a thing here where you guys can see it. We'll scroll through it, but um, you know. I'm glad that this story has the ending that it's have it that it's going to have. Um, you know, a lot of people are going to say, "Hey, well, this is just a tax write-off for Mac Hike. They're going to get a huge tax write-off for doing this." And I get that, but it's kind of. But I'm also at the point now where I'm kind of like, "Okay, what do you expect the dealer to do at this point?" I mean, um, being that the funds are going to go to veterans charities, three separate charities, I love the idea. I think it's a huge. Um, I think it's huge, man. I really do. I, 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 uh, I'm looking forward to see what this thing goes for. I am going to bid on it. You know, I, I will have a number. Um, I am actually, I already contacted my uh, person over at PenFed. I really don't want to spend that money, but I think that we could actually do something awesome with that car if we're able to get our hands on it. And I was just talking with, with Butter the Insider uh, via Instagram the other day about that of, you know, raffling this specific car off so let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below what do you think about the conclusion of the story and the fact that this is going to auction do you want me to be present in person to bid on this car in houston i mean it is my second home so should i be present in april to bid on this car in houston or should we um uh, bid on it online and do like a live stream or something let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and if you'd like to see me try to bid on this car so that we can raffle it off to maybe a subscriber of my channel oc motivators or you know buttered insiders or lucky's channel let me know in the comments down below but anyways guys with that said i want to thank you guys very much for watching um this has, you know, where I, it's been a, a scumbag and a horrible experience for, I know, a lot of the people involved. Um, I'm glad some good things did come out of it. You know, they did get some people that probably shouldn't be working at their dealerships out for doing this. Um, it did kind of put a ton of other dealers on notice to where everybody kind of took a pause from doing scumbag activities. And it allowed me to find what we're doing now is really pushing this consumer advocacy um, when it comes to these dealers and I'm enjoying it. So there you have it. Major salute to our active duty service member that is out there regularly deployed. Please get home safe, bro. We know that uh, it's a mess over there at the moment. And um, my thoughts are with the families of the, of the three service members that were lost this last week in Jordan, uh, due to a drone attack. And that's why I think when people asked why this story hit so hard or why 
you know, so many people got involved so fast and were so aggressive or so vicious about this. That's why, you know, these people, you know, this, this active duty service member that has been overseas, the, the, the ability for me to make these videos like this every day is because they're over there making sure that my rights, my ability to be free is not infringed. And a, a lot of us forget that every day and that these guys are over there and can literally lose their lives sleeping in Iraq, not in the country of Iraq, but sleeping in Iraq, sleeping in a bed, you know, in a foreign country, in a dorm or in a housing unit that quick. So not trying to hound people or tell you guys to tell somebody, thank you for their service, but just understand that that's why this story was a little different and why people were a little aggressive about it. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up button if you like what I do. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys very soon on the next one.